what's up, devil advocates, gemstones, dodgers, and chargers to a soul special report for April mid-month and Mercury retrograde. That's right, Mercury retrograde is set to take effect, I believe, is that Friday or Saturday the 21st, okay? It's going to be a three and a half week event, so prepare for it, okay? Also, um, before we get started, I want to thank those who supported um, the broadcast on the last report. And for the one supporter who gave me a thumbs up, please stay until after this report for a personal report specific for you only. Okay? It does not apply to anybody else. It will only apply to you. If you support this station, you need to be sure that you remember what number thumb you gave because I don't know. Okay, That's the only way I know. Thumb number one, thumb number two, thumb number three, thumb I don't know. Okay? Um, and if they get too big, I'm going to have to turn around and do something else, but uh, you will always be rewarded. Also, um, in case you don't know, whenever you hear this sound, if you have not already obliged, please do so by supporting the station and be sure that your phone and um, your app has the notification settings for uh, Soul Station. Okay? So let's go ahead and get started with breaking the ice with some um, things, the things that make you go, hmm. I'm going to pull out four for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Cuss. Again, this is an April mid month and Mercury a retrograde report for Gemini and Aries, Devil Advocates and Gemstones, okay? Not too, okay, the energy's coming through. Wait a minute, if everybody don't, if everybody, every energy can't speak at once, okay? For so whomever it is, source. So let's go ahead and get started. Can you give me four cards, please, from the top for sun, moon, rising, and cuss? Devil Advocates and Gemstones, Dodgers and Chargers. I should also be saying, well, no, I say Gemini's first because your numbers were a little bit more, <laughs> okay? So, I like to give respect, you know what I'm saying? Give credit where it's due. Suns, Devil Advocates, Gemstones, Dodgers and Chargers, things to make you go home, things you will like to perform right now, okay, during this time. Now, remember, there's a pre-shadow period you may have already started to feel some of the energies of mercury retrograde sometimes it's forgetfulness okay uh it, it could be things like breakdowns okay um then we have the actual period okay which is three and a half months which i think it is the 14th of may the mid-may and then you have a post shadow period but you know usually that's when the energy starts to fade out but it can also be lingering sun moon okay you moon Things you won't ever give up. So there may be some things you think about right now you won't ever give up. But I don't know. Mercury retrograde may take it from you. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Ascend it or on the rise. Things that you will never get away with. Okay. That's what you're thinking about. Okay. I don't know if you're married um, or not. You know, some I've heard a reader say she don't think that married people should be on these types of stations. I don't know if I quite agree. But I do think married women should. <laughs> okay. Okay. And those on the cuffs, things you would like to ask Siri. Okay. Things you would like to ask Siri. So those are good. I think we've, we've had the things you would like to ask Siri before. But it's cool. Those were some good ones. And uh, I think the first three, I didn't, I haven't seen them before. Well, maybe things you will never give up for rising and ascendance. Okay. Things you would like to perform for the suns, things you won't ever give up for the moons, things that you will never get away with for on the rise, things you would like to ask Siri on the cusp. Give me three cards, dear source, for this group. Ooh. Okay, so we have Earth. We have Pluto twice. Oh, my God. 300 is the number, okay? 300. It can also stand for 3 o'clock. Could be significant. For those who are in the suns, 7. It will be significant for you during this time. Okay? We know what 7 is all about. Finishing up so you can get that break. Um, 58 is about joyous pleasure in some instances. There is some type of commitment here. There could be a, a start over or kind of like a... Um, Like being catapulted 
into something new that may or may not feel quite comfortable, most likely not quite comfortable at first. It's an adjustment, okay? Um, that's for the moons. For those on the rise, you have number nine, which deals, I'm hearing surprise, okay? And it may be coming out of all of this plutonic energy because you have double plutonic energy. You have pumpkin and you have lemon, okay? So the middle of it is pumpkin. There is a harvest, but I feel like here you're going to have to make lemonade out of lemons here okay you have to turn something sour into sweet but you know uh lemons are not always bad they do have benefits okay bitter does have benefits i don't know what that means here for those of you who are on the cusp you have 60 we have a lot of venus energy okay and um i just feel like Whatever this is, I think it's dealing with starting over because Venus is about all things beautiful. And when things are not beautiful, she makes war with it, okay? So you may be considering starting over um, creatively maybe or in your artwork or your, your creative um, business venture. something else I want to say but it won't come to me I don't know but I'm getting the word containing okay so let's see what the business will be like right about now what's the business what's the business for um this group what's the business for this group give me a couple of cards but they'll be after this gemstones for guys and charges, that's one. One of them is the pharmacy. I got the pharmacy discount, okay, card. So health, you know, you have to get your meds or whatever. Okay, that discount card is important because we know uh, pharmaceuticals can be very expensive. So it could be a hint to use discounts, okay? Oh, something else, for, and you got the H&R block, okay? H&R block, so that's what we're going on with these taxes, okay? Uh, this health may be in connections with some of you who are in business with, with deductions. I do think under the Obamacare there were penalties if you didn't have insurance. Especially if you are of a certain income bracket. Okay, let's get going with these cards, see what's happening for April mid-month. And I'm going to keep this murky because she's flying out. We already see that there are some tough decisions to be made here. Okay. I need three more stores. A lot of it is about the something that you want to do tomorrow, or like I said, for those of you on the cusp, it's about your future, where you're trying to go, you know, what you're trying to do creatively, okay? You had some visions. You probably got a vision of uh, some of you who are... Um, I don't know why I'm getting the word profound, but who are uh, who, who possess a lot of foresight. Okay, I'm also getting the word technology, but there is a decision. It must be made. Is you going to do it or is you ain't going to do it? You know what I'm saying? Is you going or you're not going to go for it? It's up to you. Okay, I feel like it all came out of an impression. That I don't know if this was a good or bad situation, but whatever it is, it's about putting something on your mind. For somebody, it's about sickness here, okay? I don't know what's making you sick. And sometimes I see this is in reference to smoking, okay? I don't know why I'm getting seasick here. So maybe somebody is on the sea here, okay? Whatever it is that you uh, are having to think about, I'm, I am definitely here. Feeling and seeing you that you do need to put your thoughts to a rest. Just stop for a moment. Pause. Stop thinking about it so hard. This month, okay? Um, let's find out what this five of swords is.
tough decisions. Again, it may be, here it is, three in the earth, okay, with the wand's energy, okay, that's Aries energy. This could be you um, in terms of going forward on projects, ideas, innovative things, okay, or just in preparation, whatever this five or swords is that we can really dabble into. But some of you, it is definitely about how you want to come across. Now, this could be in terms of trying to, you know, uh, acquire something or in terms of promotions. Dodgers and Chargers. I'm getting the word build. Is this something you're trying to build? Build? I don't know. Build? out of an impression it's got a lot to do with the with truth and honesty there's something's troubling you here and it's like somebody got to cough it up did i say somebody somebody something's got to be coughed up Now, this devil energy could be a lot of things here. If it's creative shit, it could be about plagiarism, uh, stealing ideas and creative ideas and enterprisal things. I don't know if you're in a partnership or not. If you think about being in a partnership, I don't know. We do have wands here, which normally, to me, indicate partnership with, uh, the idea, with those on the cusp here that has this Venus energy in it, okay? Something's going to happen. And you know what? It makes sense. Things do come out during Mercury retrograde. This is in communication. This is the time of communication. Communication breakdown. It's breaking down here. Okay? The truth will set you free, though. And then I'm also hearing, you know, being honest about how you want to come across. So some of you, you may not want to really be stretching the truth. You may not want to be, um, you don't want to be lying. The devil is here. You know what I'm saying? It could be all about holding on to your integrity. Because the, the, the two of swords to me represents, it's kind of similar to justice, Libra and energy. And you want to do the right thing for you. And sometimes you feel like doing the right thing for you means like... Whatever is in this car, but it's troubling you, okay? And you don't want to leave an impression, the wrong impression, you know? You don't want to give up your dignity or your integrity for whatever it is, right? And some of this energy may have already transpired. This could be confirmation for some of you. For some of you, you're going into it. But expect to have to make this is this is this is the time too. I'm I'm seeing this is the, the great mother is, is is in her phase. It's in her time. It's, it's her changing the tide for you, it's where you can go forward and focus on whatever it is you got to do. Whatever this vision is, you could just be envisioning your day and how to go forward in it. Okay, because uh maybe you laid on your taxes by now. Today is the deadline. Okay. In relations to your health, we do have a pharmacy card here. And for some of you, this could just be in relations about where you want to go, but it's something here about something that's troubling you that you need the truth about. It could be in regards to this medicine, okay. Maybe you will, maybe it's a tough decision to go. Uh, some of you, there is, there you, there will be a discount, okay? But I, I feel like you were really impressed. I feel like something, you got the truth. Maybe you, they were giving you some information because it was really bothering you. It was really troubling you. But I feel like there is something good coming out of this slowly but surely. Um, more than likely you're going to be in better health. Um, whatever you're doing now during this time is going to lead you to uh, uh, a healthy harvest. I, I believe it's more along the lines of not just finances for some of you, but um, 
and I'm hearing last. So this may be about knowing how to make it last. Your money lasts. Your medicine lasts. You know what I'm saying? Because I see the outcome there is the purchase. Okay? If they exchange, there's no robbery. The purchase. Okay? But that's where, for some of you, where this is coming out, um, kind of sweet and sour here. Okay. So, I get it now. So, for some of you, in terms of this retrograde, this is about not... Uh, initiating new commitments, new contracts, okay? Uh, unless it's something that's going to save the day, I would say revert back to that which you always went to. If you, if, say for instance, okay, say for instance, you've been going, uh, to Jiffy Lou, okay, and for whatever reason, you you know, you feeling really nudged that you got to get your oil changed today, but for some reason, Jiffy Lou is not open, and maybe there's not one close by you, but say for instance, you went to Baveline in the past, down on 3rd Street, I would suggest you go back there. Especially if you had good relations. Because maybe it's just about where you relocated or where you moved that caused you to use a different service. But this will be the time, the perfect time to go back to where you came from. And this may be the issue here in the King of Wands. Going back where you came from, where you always went. Okay, before whatever happened. Because even for some of you, somebody could have left a bad taste in your mouth, a sour taste in your mouth. You see what I'm saying? But out of that, this transformation, because, you know, sometimes you can have a spat or disagreement or somebody may have a light of attitude. You may not get along, you know, whatever. But then something is said, and then when you return, it's cleared up. Because maybe you did say something or made a face or gave some type of energy that kind of made them think about what it was that they were doing, especially if it's in a public place and you are serving the public. I don't know if that's you or them, okay? This may be about things you won't ever give up. For some of you, this is about work opportunity in these fields. And I'm going to say this. For me, pharmacy could also be dealing with flour. Okay? And, um, you know, you do have... I'm also noticing notary here. So some of you may be interested in becoming a notary. And, bam, once you make that decision, you're going to go ahead and pay for that. Course, okay, something you've been waiting to do. You been then I say that it's been a long time. Been wrestling with it. Decision, decision, different courses, different things to take. You know, I, in terms of uh of uh catapulting your career, right? Pushing you forward. Because when you catapult, you can promote or demote. Okay. But I see um in the end in this April mid-month in Mercury retrograde, you will pay. You will pay. But I really feel like this is going back to where you came from or where you always went. Okay? I really do. I feel like that's, that's what's going on. But it's it's something in this five of swords. I don't know if somebody's being smart, making ugly faces, you know, being snotty, uh, being nice, nasty. I don't know. But the truth was spoken. Kind of kind of got somebody or will be. And it's just... It is, Gonna shake them up a little bit, okay? Sometimes you gotta be checked. I'm also hearing smell good. Okay, smell good. That probably is that flower smell good. You know, lemon smell good. Pumpkin smell good. Okay. We'll sum it up for April mid month source for our devil advocates, gemstones, diamonds, and chargers. You be one for each. Give me another one, please. That'll be for devil advocates. Gemstones. 
Okay, and this will be for our Dodgers and Chargers. Now, for Devil Advocates and Gemstones, you're going to be operated out of Onyx, number nine, and you are in the Strength card. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's beautiful. Strength. That reminds me of my child. Her, her name means strength. I don't know if she know that or not. Okay. So let's see what this is all about. It's, at least it's in upper, is it, well, let's see. It's in the upper motion. Um, it's not even easy because even with strength, it's a lot of having to tame the appetite. Okay. And that may be what's going on here as well. The truth, because we have the devil taming your appetite. Okay. Did we see something earlier about adjusting your bills or something to that effect? I forget, but let me go ahead. Okay, so Onyx Strength. Let's see if you can see this. And I'm going to read. This stone is associated with energy and inner strength. It helps you identify and overcome our weak points, dispel melancholy, and impart the power of resistance so it's dealing with your energy your courage your strength of course self-control so we're talking about taming yourself or maybe even taming others in a gentle way belief in power of resistance victory of love health okay victory of love and health talk about that triumph through perception and fortitude that's in your two of swords being and staying in your own center. We talked about stealing your mind. Okay. Sometimes you just gotta let it be for just a second. Some some of you may, you know, even take a drive to clear your head. Because that's a really good thing to do. You get a lot of answers. It's two places you can get a lot of answers, especially if you have children. I'm just going to give you a little bit of breadcrumbs from my experience. I really knew what was going on in my children's life at the dinner table and in the car. The dinner table was pretty much their place to express and for me to listen to their day. The car was a chance for me to speak my knowledge. They have things like that as well, little special spots and places for certain things, even for your mate, you know, uh, with the supplies. So, um, this strength also, she's telling me, may be dealing with, I'm hearing your energy, your energy level. Okay, oh yeah, there it is. You said that, okay. So let's see how it's gonna be in the balance of things you versus them okay i don't know what that is you in the outside world you know what i'm saying uh i don't know what you do during the day maybe if you stay in the house all day don't never go nowhere is you in your neighborhood i don't know but you would know if this applies to you so we're gonna see what the balance is where you'll be at during this time and where they will be at during this time and you will be barefoot okay and free and running running around happily okay and free all right and they will be back <laughs> backing that thing up <laughs> what, the heck? what the hell is going on right there <laughs> okay You seem free. They may seem like they may be carrying little, little, you know, things on their back. You know, you know, like burdens on their back. Okay. But you looking kind of wild, though. You know, like you flying all over the place. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Some people may think you look kind of wild, crazy, just all over. <laughs> and some, some, and then, then on the other side, <laughs> they looking like cute, but burden. They just trying to make it look good. <laughs> but somebody is really backing that thing. <laughs> I 
I ain't gonna say that, Source. I'm not getting ready to say that. You know I'm not. <laughs> oh my goodness. Did I get y'all Oracle message? I did not. I jumped right into the car. Let me get y'all Oracle message for the month, okay? For mid-month and Mercury retrograde. Something superficial. That may be the truth that's coming out, okay? In this five of swords. Is it real? Something maybe about this medicine. I don't know. Maybe having to do with the course or I don't know. I, I don't feel like it, it, it could have something to do with the taxes because you know you do have companies that went all the way on the up and up. They would tax companies today and then they was closed down two or three years later you find out the news that they was doing shit with the, with the taxes why do you expect me to repair what you have broken did we just talk about that why do you expect me this could be about money it's superficial and then the words of wisdom and I guess she's just saying don't try to repair things that people have broken let them take responsibility for their own shit and I hope this makes sense because I'm going to leave it here. And I want to thank you so much for tuning in to another so special for another monthly report. Remember, this is April mid-month and Mercury retrograde. For my supporter who gave me the thumbs up, please stay tuned for your special reading. And I'll see y'all again um, real soon. Peace and love. Right, supported thank you so much for that thumbs up and this is a special or extra uh, message for you from source specific for you okay and it may blend in with the message that was just given and it may not I don't know um, but it's coming from a space of a 30 so it was in reverse and it is related to the king of swords okay I see that <clears throat> this is you Seeking more clarity, seeking more truth. Um, I'm hearing this could be in relation to your mom. And I don't know why I'm seeing uh, music and uh, wine glasses as well. But it's getting to... I don't know why she's saying, it's saying something about your future. And I don't know if your mom plays a pertinent role into that into some of the choices that you made I know uh, Mother's Day is coming soon it may be in relation to that but I do see that uh, your perception is maybe I'm not that's why you're in relations to that reading keeping your mind still that's why it's in reverse because you need clearer perception of something you need to be able to see through the fog see through the words that people say, see through uh, the acts that people put on, uh, see through the truth, maybe even looking back to your, if this is in relation to your mom, looking back over the past and seeing the truth. Who is your mom? What did she do? How did she act with you? How did she interact with you? Uh, I'm hearing score her. Okay, but we can really see what the artist says about. Because you need some keen perceptions. I don't know if somebody has fed you something. Because we have Pluto here. And Pluto deals with a lot of mystery. A lot of things in the dark. A lot of secrets, okay? Um... See what the artist says. So we can move on. So, and it's it's not unusual to have things from the past that need to be communicated to come up during this time of my retrograde. Okay, it's lilies, calm, peace, and serenity is what I preach. Your parents, did I say that? Your parents and elders show up under my symbol. 
I bring wisdom and experience. I signify a long-term relationship or ancestry. Contentment and satisfaction is my angle. And let me tell you, I haven't read this. I did not know this. This was this is confirming what I just told you because I didn't know that this was re written. And even if I did, I wouldn't remember it. The lily from a pagan view is symbolic of sexuality and passion, but also of purity. It can also symbolize motherhood. As a result, these calm looking flowers with their glass engraved back engraved background hmm, reflect a range of interpretations that they are both hold on, that they are both growing and yet eternally captured in smooth glass without any of their essence shows the two sides of this card. We might suggest, you know what? Did I put that where you can see it? I need you to see that. Hopefully you can see it well enough. Let's, let's start over. The lily from a pagan view is symbolic of sexuality and passion, but also purity. It can also symbolize motherhood. As a result, these calm looking flowers with their glass engraved background reflect a range of interpretations that they are both growing and yet eternally eternally captured in smooth glass without any of their essence shows the two sides of this card. We might suggest that they are a range of excitement, sexual, nurturing, or the absence of that excitement in chastity. It's got a lot to do with purity and sexuality. I don't know, maybe your mom taught you that, you know. I know it's in a lot of religions, okay? But I, she's pointing this out to me as well. But your oracle message came out superficial. I don't, I don't know why she's pointing it out, but you do. You do. That's that's why this perception is so important. I don't know who's putting on or if you're putting on. I'm just giving it to you real now. Because this station is about change, transition, transformation, shedding on skin, being who you are called to be. And we and it hurts sometimes, you know? We those who are truly walking the path, it hurts. I'm speaking from experience. You don't just get to integrity by being born. You earn it. Okay? And you still work with it for the rest of your life because it's a thing called temptation. Okay? And maybe that's what's going on somewhere in here, some type of temptation. Um, it says, we might suggest that they are a range of excitement, sexual nurture, or the absence of that excitement and chastity. It says, makes the cars about them pure, simple, or excite their nature. Okay, so it's going into some other things. Um, this is some things that you need to get your mind cleared about. I, 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 still, I still feel like a lot of it has to do just in relation to your mom. Okay, let's see what uh, the African Queen Goddess needs to speak to you, okay? I feel like there's some something about you needs healing, okay? Or um, whatever is weighing heavy on your mental. Once you know that truth, like I said, you're going to be set free. Things, you'll be freer, Okay? You could be reaching for something more, you know, an authentic life. I don't know why I'm hearing lifestyle as well. Okay, so you have Queen Nandi, and it's dealing with your intuition, okay? Queen Nandi, okay? I'm, I'm, real, I'm noticing the child here. Your mom is coming up. You may be thinking about generational things, okay? Again, it could be in relations to your vision. Where you're trying to go. Or something that you have to do. And it could be tax related. I don't know. Money related. This is work, money, and romance. 
Temple of Queens in the element is fire. Queen Nandi was the mother of warrior king Shaka Zulu. His father's royal family first rejected her. They said that she wasn't pregnant and her belly resulted from an in Shaka beetle sting. But Nandi knew her son would be great before he was born. Queen Nandi is guided. You already know. Take a deep breath and surrender to what you know to be true. Trust your inner wisdom and guidance. Remember in the report, it was, you were told to shut down. Stop thinking. Mountain, be still. Keep the brain still for a minute and just do something else. Take your mind off of it. Okay? Embodiment. What is the guidance telling you? Put your hands over your third eye, center of your forehead, and ask, if I knew what the answer is, what would it be? Then follow your first instinct. The creator and your ancestors connect with you through your intuition. Trust your internal GPS. The nudges, signs, and coincidences are divine guidance. Slow down. Listen. Slow down. Go for a walking meditation. Be present with nature and pay attention. Being present always, you, I'm sorry, being present allows you to feel, hear, see, and sense your guidance. And the declaration from the goddess is, I am knowing. So I know that this message was straight for you. Okay? It was straight for you. Uh, let's get your charm. What's the charm in all of this? Let's see. Thank you again for your support. And um, keep it up now. But please remember your number. And please be aware it could change at any time. Because it's... It grows. I'm, I'm going to have to try to take care of everybody within so much time. But just always remember your supporter number. And look what you got. You got the love ring. Uh, I'm hearing promise here. Okay. Uh, and we, I consider this like diamonds or crystal jewels. It's where So that also deals with clarity. I feel like once, like I said before, once you get that clarity, once your perception is clear, you can commit to something. Did I say that? You can go forward. Whether it's with your vision, your dreams, or just uh, your working day, or in handling money matters. And I'm going to leave it here, sweetheart. Thank you so much. Peace and one love, and I hope it helped.